Hello, I am Evers. If you don't know me, I am a classically trained percussionist. I am a more advanced drummer, just a more expanded uh, drummer for those of you that think of drums. And uh, the hobby of creating music in digital digital audio workstations such as FL Studio has become such a nice hobby of mine when I'm not in front of my instruments. And my goal is to help you learn the craft of creating music. I can't wait to see what this series brings. I'm My goal is 10 episodes in a series in a season, but we'll see how it goes. And the goal is to get more in depth as we go on. But right now we're talking basic because the goal is you should probably not know much at this point. Now let's talk about importing them so you can actually start just creating a little a little drum beat, All right? So if you look up here, this is the second most common place I, I go to. Right now, this is where we are. We are on the playlist. If I go over here, click the third one to the left, this is the channel rack. So if I wanted to create something, I'd have to drag the files let's just since i'm already on this ninth wonder let's keep it consistent say i want a kick i look for a kick that i want yeah all right let's do that one and then see how it just it's there now just drag and click it's so so easy so simple i like the way they have it uh hi-hat Say like that one and then snare. So I do that. So now I have three sounds. I have a kick, I have a hi-hat, a snare. If you left click, for me, I'm going to be control left click. You can rename it, make it very simple for yourself. Uh, kick. You can change the color. I like to color my stuff. I, I think it makes me feel a little bit more artistic. Um, you can do, you don't have to do any of this. All right, kick. You don't even have to spell the whole thing out, right? Enter, and let's do the last one for snare. Bam, now looks consistent, looks cohesive. Now we can just start creating and our mind has less to less to worry about. All right over here, by the way, if this is too overwhelming for, for you to see by, by your eye, just click on the sounds and now it's all condensed again. Don't have to worry about it. All right, so now you'll see each grouping of four is a, is a change of color. And so say I just wanna go one, two, three, Four. I should hear four consistent beats. And if that's a little too fast than I want, then I can go up here and adjust the time. Say I want it to be 90. All right, and say I want it to be like a one, 105. All right, so now I'm gonna get a little fancy with the snare, but that's the idea, that's one, two, three, and four. If I wanted to go dot, 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 then I would go to not the ne one next to it, but the third one. That would be dot, dot, da, dot, dot, da. All right, or I can, uh, I can change it from that. So I deleted the note, <laughs> but if I wanted to pick back in, I will just go, Ah, I pressed command that time for your Mac users. I pressed command with with PC. It's literally you, you would it delete it. You can add it back on. But for some reason, uh, there's, there's a little different of a setup. All right, so I press command to start being able to put it back on. All right, so now I'm gonna press control, delete it and go back to my 4-4. Press command just in case so I can get ready to insert again. All right, so now we're gonna get a little crazy with the snare. Watch out, this is a little more advanced. All 
right? And now we're just messing with the sound files. It's just replay. It's it's playing the sound when we tell it to play. That's that's literally it. And then say, uh, we're gonna do just do eighth notes. Da, 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 da. But let me show you something else. Instead of doing all that, I can right click here, fill each two steps, does it automatically. Super time saving. And that's how you get sound files into FL Studio and you start creating. I'll see you in the next episode. Yo, Evers, hit him with another This is one. going to be interesting. So here we are on the download page for the Piano One VST. And three, the instructions right here is very important. Very important. Because I, I, was, I was confused. The download link is, uh, is protected by password. The password will be the capital letter. Will be the